first try an example to determine the uniform distributed load acting on a slab by using the shear coefficient method. It is given that the Ly per Ls is equal to 1.5. First, you need to refer to table 3.15 in BS. By looking at the slab, you know this side is discontinuous and this side is discontinuous. Both sides are adjusted to each other. Therefore, the slab is considered as two adjacent edge discontinuous, which is this one. It was given that Ly per Ls is equal to 1.5. Then the Veta for VVX it will be equals to 0 0.54 and 0 0.35 and Beta for VVY will be equals to 0 0.4 and 0 0.26 Then you need to decide this number is applied to which side of the longest band and this number is applied to which side of the longest band as well as these two number is applied to which side of the shoulder span. 0 0.54 refer to the continuous edge of the longer span. That means it's this span. 0 0.35 is for the discontinuous edge of the longer span. That means it is referring to this span. 0 0.4 is for the continuous edge of the shorter span therefore it is continuous for a shorter span this span as for 0 0.26 is referring to shorter span discontinuous which is this side with all the beta in place you may substitute into the equation the end referring to the design load which is 1.35 and 1.5 for GK and QK and the LX is referring to the effective length of the shorter span. With that you will be able to determine the UDL for the beam of the all side of the slab.